So let's say you have your data and you have imported it into Power BI, but you notice that there's a problem. Your column names are not correct. For example, this is supposed to be Afghanistan, um, Haran, Canada, Denmark, and Egypt. But you notice that the names of the countries are not spelled correctly. So one way to go about renaming this is to start to renaming it one after the other. What if you have like 50 columns that you need to rename? What if you have like 100 columns you need to rename? That's going to be a lot of work. So one way to go about solving this particular problem is to create a list. You can import this from Excel or anywhere. The list that contains the correct list of countries, right? So this will serve as your new column names. So you're going to use this to rename the columns. That way you have correct column names. So one way to do this, let's add a new column here, for example, is to use the list function called um, list zip. So what we're going to do is to use that function to zip the names together. Let me show you how to do it. List zip. So if you want to zip this, we want to zip the result as what? As a list. We use curly braces for list in Power Query. So here we want to get the present column names for this particular table. So we we'll use a table columns. This will give us this will give us the column names from this particular table. So um just to make sure you know what we are saying, let me clear this out. And by the time we run this, it's going to return the column name. So now we have a list that shows up all the wrong column names. So I can rename this for the sake of those who are not very familiar with Power BI. Let's see, um, old column names. Let's just call it old columns. And we already have our new columns here, right? So that's very easy to work with. So what we can do here is to just come here and zip these two lists together. So we have our old columns, and now we will have our country list. So by the time we zip the two together, let me see. Okay, this is supposed to be a list. So we use coily braces here. And so you notice that now we have a list together where we have the old country name and the new country name. See that? Look at Canada, it's now Canada. Um, yeah, now we have Denmark and we have Egypt. So what we need to do next is just pass this to the rename um, function and to rename our columns for us, we can rename this to what should we use right here? Let's use new columns. So we can now just add one step here and say we want to do table rename columns, not remove, rename, rename columns for which table. So we want to refer to this step promoted, promoted headers promoted headers and now what we have to do is just pass the new column names as a list new columns it should work fine and yes so you see here now that we have afghanistan canada denmark and egypt so with just this simple step we've been able to rename our columns we can actually choose to implement this in just a single step I decided to break it down for the sake of those um, who are very familiar with Power Query. And now we can rename this step to rename columns. That's it. So this is super easy. And each time a new country is added, you can always come here and update this list that you have here. You can also use Excel as a source for your data. Thank you. See you in the next video.